Hey everybody, Park 10 of Chronicles of the Dark Lord. I haven't, uh, he hasn't leveled yet, but he's very close, so I figured, ah, I'll start recording now. Um, you know who did level is Krista and Galena. Krista didn't learn anything new, but Galena now has, uh, the second Thunder Spell, Thuneris. So, um, and Magus is very close. Yeah, one more battle will do it. And we'll stay at the inn, and we'll head south to... I think Ivory Mist is next. You know, uh, Tanya was actually going to join me today, but she was really busy. So I said, uh, uh, you know, um, I, I want to have her on a few videos joining me in the commentary, since she's the person who created this game. And uh, <laughs> she said, I'll join you when you get to the Ivory Mist part. And I'm realizing right now that that's kind of today, but she could also... she could join me, huh? <laughs> She could join me tomorrow or whatever. Well, actually, tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Tomorrow, me and Tanya are going to be interviewed by um, Just Push Start, so. I am going to do videos. I'm planning on doing videos tomorrow after the interview, so uh, there may be videos a little later than usual, but there probably will be videos. Here's an opportunity to show you the Thuneris. Although, in an upcoming boss, I don't know. I'll be using it like crazy anyway, so. Picking on the ladies. Oh, jeez. I'm like, come on, Galena, fill your friggin' meter up. Here we go. Oh, I don't have enough for it. See, all that time I should have noticed that and I should have used like an ether on her so I could show it to you, but you guys will see it soon enough. Critical. That'll, le that'll level Magus up. Yep, there we go. And everybody else is pretty close. Magus has now learned Breath of Ice. That is uh, basically, it's like Flame Burge, only it's an ice attack, so that'll be useful when we get to an area that actually requires that. There are, there's a whole area called Zenith Kess, which is a fiery area, and almost all of the monsters there, are, I think all of them are fire-based monsters, which will all have weaknesses to ice, so. That being said, that will come in useful then, though that's a ways off. Uh, we're actually, pretty soon going to be heading into an ice and snow area where the fire spells will come in handy. So, um, and we're going to have another lineup change in the party fairly soon. A lot of, a lot of dramatic stuff happening. So let's head south. Go through the bridge. It's not a big long bridge like the other one. You cannot pass unless you have permission from one of the queens of Solarian. Do you have something for us? Who's us? You got a mouse in your pocket? Indeed we do. Okay. One moment. Moving it out of the way. There we go. Good luck. We shall be... Oh, we're going to have some cutscenes now. We shall be within Ivory Mist territory soon. I know them well. Their queen is a kind woman and has had an active dislike of Aldrace for a long time. I know she will help us. We may yet prevail in what we have set, set out to do. If we can continue to rally support from neighboring lands, we may have more than a chance at beating Valdres. You think we have a chance? I'm not so sure about that, Isis. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom... Duchess Nightshade, we will reach the Rim Kingdom's man mainland in a few hours. Excellent. Stay on course for Ivory Mist. They will be our first target. Then we will march north from there to take over Solarian and Goldenhorn. Duchess, there have been reports of a growing alliance between several of the lands that are intent on we are intent on invading. We must be careful in our doings. Now listen here. We do this my way. Their alliances mean nothing to us. We will take over Ivory Mist and the rest of the Rim Kingdoms will fall. Am I understood? Yes, Duchess. A very brief moment where you get to hear... Oh, it's still going. One of my favorite songs in the game, which is called Valdres Marches. So we've reached Ivory Mist, which as you can see definitely lives up to its name. With all the mist and whatnot. So just going to head on down here. Oh, snap! It's a battle! Got a scorpion, a will o -wisp, and two mist plants. I was actually fighting plenty of those mist plants before, so... They're very weak to fire, being plant-based. So, Flamberge will be a big deal. The will o -wisps are more weak to thunder, but, you know... That's what Galena's there for. If she ever gets to attack. I think she will get to attack. Yes, I'm gonna use, uh, Thuneris. Which is the second thunder spell. That wiped the motherfuckers out. Yeah! Oh, oh God! 
power thirst. I don't even know what I'm doing. Not even a potion for our troubles. So here we are. Let's go into town first. Welcome to Thralin. Welcome to Thralin, town of Ivory Mist. Normally there are no guards here, with, but with Valdrace's transgressions recently. Will we have to evacuate? I do not want to leave my home. The Queen has been decisive about the whole thing with Valdrace. She is nearly ready to declare war against them, though they might beat her to it as it looks. Let's go in here's the shops. General store. Okay. Okay. I'm about to sneeze, just letting you guys know. Oh, holy shit! Oh. Oh. I got a tent. Just checking those. Checking these. Checking thems. <laughs> checking all sorts of fucking pron pronouns. Nothing is as terrible as my wife, not even Valdrace. Oh, snap! Okay, so this guy has armor. Let's buy three mist shields. Two poison gauntlets. Magus already has one. Three mist helms. Three mist armors. Two silence gauntlets. Well, let's see. I already have the. I just bought the po poison ones. I'll just keep this poison ones. Uh, robe of the mist and a mist hat. Okay, so let's equip all that shit. Oh. Okay. All new armor. Oh, you already have that. Okay. go. Let's talk to you. Your mind must be sharp and your spirit strong in order to survive what comes soon. I think she just sells items. Yeah, I don't really need any right now. Valdrace this and Valdrace that. What about Antokalius? The man destroyed an entire village and he is still at large. That's very true. Okay, so we get, can get by two bastard swords and a staff of the ivory mist. Equip those bastard swords on my bastards. Scalene and Magus are bastards. And the Staff of the Ivory Mist is actually going to come in handy because it has a, um, a holy property to it. Which is very useful coming up because we're going to be fighting a boss very soon that is weak to thunder and holy. And we don't have any holy spells, but we will have... Um, Isis able to attack with a holy weapon. Rumors are spreading that Valdrius is preparing for all-out war. Everyone here, especially the Queen, realizes that we are now a target. Oh, at least he didn't say Tarje. The Queen is worried about what is going to happen, though she does her best not to show it. Oh, let's get an elixir. Yay! There's the end. I haven't gotten there yet. You wish to stay? Please go to the front of the counter, sir. I don't wish to stay. I wanted to just want to see what you said and if you had a teddy bear or any shit for me to steal from your cupboards and whatnot. Like a phoenix feather, which is a very useful item. See? That's why I came in, not to talk to your dumb ass. Well, I guess I did want to talk to your dumb ass, but... I got a tent. See? It was worth it. Worth it. It's totally worth talking to your dumb ass behind the counter. Saying, Please go in front of the counter, because I can't, I can't give you a room unless you're in front of the counter and you're behind the counter. I don't like that. Yeah, fuck you. And look at that, a full ether. That's a great fucking item to have. See, see. I don't need to stay at your ratty old inn. I probably will later though, you know, because whatever. All right, let's go over here. I am on patrol. We never used to have to patrol the town. Well, you lazy bum. Now you're good for something. I'm afraid the pub is closed for now due to the rumors of a possible invasion by Valdrace. Oh, sure, that makes sense. It's like, oh, Valdrace might be uh, invading. Oh, close the pub. Valdrace is coming. We can all sense it. Clearly, the queen is a nut bar. Got a potion. Got an ambrosia. Okay. Oh, get the fuck out of my way, bitch. Thank you. What's up? If Valdrace strikes the Rim Kingdom, it will be one of the first places to be invaded. Yeah, probably. Oh, I got a mid potion. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> it sounds like old Gil is coming. Old Gil's gonna come soon. Oh, it's too soon. Oh, jizzle. I just 
blew my wad all over. Oh, let me get you a towel. I don't imagine Gil gets made, laid much. Surreal pond, yeah. He probably ruins it. He probably just says the wrong thing, and the chick just is like, fuck you, man. Alright, what's up? I am researching all I could find about Valdres to little avail. All I can gather is that they used to be an honorable people who put peace before war. Obviously, not any longer. Is there anything else you can tell us? There was a woman who was kidnapped from Solarian, and she was brainwashed into serving Valdres's interests. May make no mistake about it, though. If you should encounter her, she will kill you without a thought. Of course, he's talking about the Duchess Drea Nightshade. I got an ether. I did it! I don't fucking know, man. I, I just... yeah. Oh, let me check these faggots. See, I found a mid-potion in that faggot. It's such a terrible word, but it does technically mean a bundle of sticks, so, you know. Why not? Let's go check out the castle. Okay, and we go into the castle. Cutscene. Queen Chalice Lauren has been a long time indeed. Yes, it has been at least two years, Magus, although from the look on Galena's face, I do not think you were here for a social visit. It's good to see you again, Queen Chalice. Uh, you are right, we're here because of what Valdrace has done and is planning to do. We do not have much time, Your Majesty. Valdrace is poised to strike the Rim Kingdoms very soon. Your country will likely be one of the first to be targeted. I see, so it is finally happening. It is, Your Majesty. Queen Reyna herself sent me to find out what Valdrace is up to, and to prevent their plans from coming to fruition. I present Lady Krista Iyer of Goldenhorn and Sovereign Isis Lee of Ilion. They are both correct. Chalice, we must prepare for their immediate invasion. We will assist you. A pleasure, Your Majesty. We will do our best. You can count on me, Queen Chalice. We will not fail in this. I thank you, all of you, for your support in this. I will order the evacuation of the civilians and set up a defensive line along the coast. I would like you four to join my troops there. I will be fighting as well. My people will not succumb to Valdrace, not as long as I draw breath. Check your equipment first. Nah, I'm cool. Here we go, battlefield time. I am Duchess Drea Nightshade of the Sovereignty of Valdrace. You will, neither you will either surrender to me or face the consequences. Do not think we'll be surrendering to you today or any other day, Drea. I cannot allow Valdrace to lay any claim to the lands of the Rim Kingdoms. I think you overestimate your chances if you think you have even a prayer of surviving against us. This force is only the beginning. We have legions of other troops coming. I will never surrender. Never. Not to you, not to anyone. Everyone be ready. I'm with you, Magus. Valdrace, you will go no further. You will not take one more step into Ivory Mist. Troops of Valdrace, engage and slaughter the enemy. For Ivory Mist. Oh, shit! Okay. So let's fight some soldier fourth classes. Obviously, they're stronger than the soldier first classes. Um, you really don't want to cut loose on these guys because you have to save your magic and whatnot for um, the actual fight with Drea, which is coming up real soon. I think you only have to fight like three or four battles and then boom, you're fighting Drea. On the beaches of Ivory Mist. If you like that battle background and you want to know how to give sand a texture like that, I talk about it in the Photoshop tutorial that I did over the weekend. I decided I will do Photoshop tutorials from time to time, so expect to see that every once in a while. I do have another one planned. I, th I think I could do at least two more for now, and we'll see. Okay, time to fight another battle. We got an Ornak and two Soldier 4th classes. Right. The Ornak's the threat because they have more hit points, but really, not a big deal. I was pretty, ooh, I was gonna say I was pretty weak for a critical, and then BAM, on Galena, holy shit. Fuck you. Just, just attack. Although it's not that many battles. Actually, I should have had her use Warcry, but the eh, whatever, you know? Not that hard. Not at the level I'm at. 
you're at a lower level, which you probably would be at this point, um, be careful. <laughs> Actually, oh no, the soldiers do have more hit points. I was mistaken. They have 850. I thought it was, I thought it was like 750, I don't know why I was thinking that. Oh, we missed, or she missed. I'm gonna get shit right today. Oh, she doesn't have Warcry. I guess that's Galena that has Warcry. See? I'm all screwed up. I'm all fucked up. I don't even know what the fuck is going on here. You asshole. What the hell is that? I just wanted to use Torpor Cut. Torpor Cut! No sense in using anything now. Like Warcry or anything. Just kick his ass. This'll do it. Unless he misses. She misses. He evades. Either one of those things is bad. Alright. Oh, they're so close to leveling. Look at that. Yeah, another battle. Okay, we've got three soldier fourth class. This is kind of not a big deal. Oh, yeah, it's over. Up yours. A nice hit too. No, no, so you don't. You don't do that shit. You don't do that shit. That shit is not done by you. We know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. Yeah, you have war cry. For three magic points, you can't argue with it. Look, I stunned two of them. I mean, attack the one that's not stunned. Yeah. Borkutu! Oh yeah. You're probably not stunned anymore, so I'm just gonna finish him off. I should do that. She leaves me just the one. Bam! Still might be stunned, actually, damn. Oh, I missed. Oh, there he goes. So, very actually, Isis leveled up, and she learned Magic Bless. Not even a potion. All right, so moving on at least one more battle. I think this is the last one before we fight Drea. Four soldier fourth classes. All right, now I'm actually gonna cut loose a little bit. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna use Breath of Ice just for the hell of it. I think they're actually weak to lightning, but you guys haven't seen it yet and I wouldn't have the opportunity to use it for a while. And I'll have Galena likely finish them off with uh, Phoneris. My hit points are a little low, but Isis will take care of that right quick, so no big deal. And Krista and Galena just leveled up. Krista learned Weapon Bless. And Galena didn't learn anything, but her stats sure the hell went up. Let's talk to her. You're the one that was forced to serve against her will. We have heard of you. Ah, so you must be the ones I was warned, back, back, uh, warned about back in Valdres. Why resist what is inevitable? Surrender. Drea, you used to be loyal to Solarian. Come on, snap out of it. Come on, Drea, you must remember how you were back in Solarian. No, no, you were trying to confuse me and I will not, it will not work. I will bring your heads back with me to Valdres after we exult on our victory here. You have chosen death. Very well. Okay, big battle against Drea. Duchess Nightshade emerges. Okay, start out with Kirina. Kirina! Dog Chow. I don't fucking know. Alright, uh, like I said, she's weak to lightning and holy attacks, so... The only holy attack would be Isis's normal attack because of the weapon she's welding, and Galena can take care of the lightning part of it. Hopefully Isis won't stay asleep too long. I might actually take the time to use an Ambrosia on her. She's too important. Too important to be sleeping through this. Phoneris. Look at that. That's a lot of damage. It's over a thousand. She 
chance here. Let me use an Ambrosia. Wake up, bitch. Here comes Duchess's Wrath. That's a very powerful attack, as you can tell. If you're not overleveled like I am, this can be a bitch, let me tell you. She's probably the first really hard boss in the game, so just be careful of that, you know? No, be aware of her weaknesses. Be aware of your weaknesses. Be aware of who can do what, and keep an eye on your hit points and magic at all times. That's why I didn't waste all my stuff the first time around, the first three battles, because it very well might be a long battle. Torpor Cut, I mean, it has a slightly higher um, attack ability than uh, regular attack, which is why I keep using it. There's really no shot of, there's really no chance of me putting her to sleep with it. But, you know, she might as well keep using it. Oh, free round, that's all attack. See, 247 as opposed to like the 100 that she would normally do. Uh, use it on Galena because she. So use it on Christopher so that she can get more. Uh, quicks out, and on Isis because she's the healer, and then on Galena because she's the main damager here, with Mage is just kind of hanging out, you know. Every little bit counts. Yeah, that was nice. Boom. Don't need to heal. She hasn't really done... That's because everybody's hasted and um, just attacking so often that she hasn't had the chance to really hit anybody. And I think everybody has their agility. Uh, Christus is probably going to wear off pretty soon, so just keep an eye out for that. Yeah, if you're not, like, leveled all the way like I am, ooh, this could be tough. That's a nice one. But really, as you can see, I'm not having an issue. I got hit once by the Duchess's Wrath, it hurt, I healed myself. Sleep Strike shit doesn't bother me none. As a matter of fact, I'll use an Ambrosia on her right now. Especially since the Hastes are starting to wear off, the one on Isis already did. Surprise it wasn't, uh... Krista first, it's kinda weird. I think it's because it's the amount of times you attack and Isis is naturally faster than Krista. So she's, she's definitely gotten more turns. Okay. Okay, perfect. It just wore off on her, so... Here comes Duchess's Wrath again. That's good, because Isis is coming up right here. Oh, after Magus. Boom. Oh yeah. That's it, it's over. Nice battle. Nothing can stop us now, nothing. You get a power vial and an elixir. Ah, well done. In a different reality, perhaps, things could have been different. She's dead, but believe it or not, it's not the last we've heard of her. Drea. Retreat, the Duchess has been killed, retreat. Thank you, all of you. Without your assistance, I do not know if we could have repelled them. Nonsense, you and your troops are more than a match for Valdrace. Agreed, your troops are well trained, Queen Chalice. Well, on behalf of Ivory Mist, thank you. Now, may I ask where you were off to? We ought to head to the Empire of Ativian. Empress Eleanor will likely be able to assist us in reaching Valdrace's shores without alerting their army. I've not seen Eleanor in a long time. Something wrong, Shield Sid? No, I'll just past events. It's nothing. Hmm. Well then. To a Tevian. I suppose we can borrow a ship they, they borrow the ship they left near the coast. Feel free to take it. Spoils of war after all. Also, speak with my people to heal and outfit yourselves properly. When you're ready, come speak to me again. Okay, well that'll be tomorrow. Um, I'm probably going to level Magus up one more time after I'm done here, but let me save it anyway. Uh, 
yeah. So we'll see you guys tomorrow with more Chronicles of the Dark Lord. Uh, videos may be a little bit later because I got the interview with Just Push Start. Uh, but other than that, no big deal. See you then.